9 mock test 3, there is this interesting problem where we are given this function fx defined as an integral from 0 to 2 mod of x minus t dt. So this integral will always be a function of x and then we need to find number of solutions to the equation x sin x plus cos x equals fx. Now this question per se is not an original question. It is basically a mix of two standard questions in which this first question was how to define a function fx with this given integral from 0 to 2 mod of x minus t dt and there in that question we are supposed to find minimum value of fx and the second question it appeared in ISA examination and something similar also appeared in J advanced and the question was number of solutions of x sin x plus cos x equals x square. So this problem is actually a combination of these two standard problems. So I'll provide the link to those standard problems in the description below for a per user. Now we start solving this question. Now in order to solve this question, we have to solve it for different values of x. So first we are going to take this interval where x is less than 0. Now when x is less than 0, then in that case mod of x minus t will be simply t minus x because t lies between 0 to 2 and x is negative. So in that case this function fx will be simply this integral from 0 to 2 t minus x dt and that will be t square by 2 minus xt from 0 to 2. Now this is 2 minus 2x. So in the first interval when x is less than 0 we have our function fx as 2 minus 2x. Now we will take the second case when x lies between 0 to 2. Now when x lies between 0 to 2 we have this integral between 0 to 2. So what we will do is we will write this function fx as this integral from 0 to x mod of x minus t dt plus this integral from x to 2 mod of x minus t dt. Now when t lies between 0 to x, x minus t will be positive because t is less than x. So it will be this integral from 0 to x x minus t dt and when t lies between x to 2 we will have this integral as from x to 2 mod of t minus x dt. Now this is x t minus t square by 2 from 0 to x and plus t square by 2 minus x t from x to 2. Now this is x square minus x square by 2 and plus this is 2 minus 2x and then minus x square by 2 plus x square. Now x square minus x square by 2 will cancel. So this function will have this value as x square minus 2x plus 2 and then we'll have this third case when x is greater than 2. Now when x is greater than 2 x minus t will always be positive. In that case we'll have our function fx as this integral from 0 to 2 and then it'll be x minus t dt and that'll be x t minus t square by 2 from 0 to 2 and that is 2x minus 2. So by solving this integral function, we have our function fx. So we can write this function fx as 2 minus 2x when x is less than 0, it is 
x square minus 2x plus 2 when x lies between 0 to 2 and then it is 2x minus 2 when x is greater than 2 and this is the first part of the question. Now we will come to this second part of the question where we need to find number of solution of this equation x sin x plus cos x and now it is not x square but it is fx. Now since we have three different definitions for fx so we will take three separate cases. So we will have our first case when x is less than 0. Now when x is less than 0 we need to find solution to this equation x sin x plus cos x and this is equal to 2 minus 2x. Now if we rearrange it we can write this as x into 2 plus sin x and it will be equal to 2 minus cos x. Now since x is less than 0 this x will be negative 2 plus sin x is positive and 2 plus cos x is positive. So in this case this left hand side it is less than 0 and this right hand side it is greater than 0. So basically for x less than 0 there will be no solution to this equation. So this equation will have no solution when x is less than 0. Now we can verify this using decimals. Now here this red graph it represents graph of x sin x plus cos x and this green line it represents the graph of 2 minus 2x. So these two graphs they are not intersecting when x is less than 0 they are only intersecting when x is greater than 0. So basically this equation x sin x plus cos x equals 2 minus 2x will not have any solution when x is less than 0. Now we will come to this second case when x lies between 0 to 2. Now if x lies between 0 to 2 we need to find number of solutions of this equation x sin x plus cos x and it is equal to x square minus 2x plus 2. Now how do we solve this? Now one of the ways of identifying number of solutions to this equation is by considering a function gx which is x sin x plus cos x minus x square plus 2x minus 2. Now if we find g dash x we will get this as x cos x plus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x and this is minus 2x plus 2. Now I will cancel. So we will get this as x cos x minus 2x plus 2. We are unable to make out any definite conclusion. So what we will do is we will find g double dash x. Now g double dash x will be x derivative of cos x is minus sin x and plus cos x minus 2. Now here x lies between 0 to 2. Now 0 to 2 it's a subset of 0 to pi. In 0 to pi sin x is positive, x is positive. So this value will be negative and this cos x minus 2 will also be negative. So g double dash x is less than 0. That means this graph is concave down. So basically in the interval from 0 to 2 we have to draw this graph like this. Concave down. Now if we look at g0, g0 will be minus 2. So g0 is negative. Now at g2 we can add this as 2 sin 2 plus cos 2 and then minus 4 plus 4 minus 2. Now 2 sin 2 minus 2 will be less than 0. 
and cos 2, since 2 is greater than pi by 2, 1.54, it'll also be negative. So g2 is less than 0. So g0 is less than 0 and g2 is less than 0. That means in between 0 and 2, either there is no root or it'll have two real roots. Now, how do we identify whether it is no real root or two real roots? What we'll do is we'll examine if there is any point where this function takes a positive value. So what we'll do is we'll find g pi by 2. Now g pi by 2 will be pi by 2 sin x and that will be pi by 2 plus cos pi by 2 is 0 minus x square is pi square by 4, 2x is pi and then minus 2. So g pi by 2 is basically 3 pi by 2 minus pi square by 4 minus 2 which is nearly 0.25 and luckily this value is positive. So basically at 0 value is negative, at 2 value is negative but in pi by 2 this value is positive that means gx it is going to intersect x axis at two distinct points. So in the second case number of solutions is 2. Now we can verify it through decimals also. So between 0 and 2 these two graphs graph of x sin x plus cos x and x square minus 2x plus 2 they intersect at two points in this interval from 0 to 2. So we have two solutions in this interval from 0 to 2. Now we will come to this third case. Now in this third case we have this condition that x is greater than 2 and we need to find number of solutions of this equation x sin x plus cos x and fx in this case is 2x minus 2. Now this third case apparently it looks simple but it does require little more analysis. So to solve this question what I did was I split this question in two parts. This first part when x actually lies between 2 to 3 and the second part when x is greater than 3. Now when x lies between 2 to 3 Basically 3 is less than pi and 2 is greater than pi by 2. Between pi by 2 and pi, sin x is positive and cos x is negative. Now what we will do is in this interval we will rearrange it. So we will take 2 here and we will take x sin x here. So we can write x into 2 minus sin x and it is equal to 2 plus cos x. Now in this case this x it is greater than 2 and less than or equal to 3 and this 2 minus sin x it will be greater than 1 and less than 2. And if we multiply this, basically this product on the left hand side will be greater than 2. And if we look at its right hand side, now we know that cos x is negative. So 2 plus cos x will be actually less than 2. So here LHS and RHS, they can never be equal. So we will not have any solution when x lies between 2 to 3. Now we will take up the second case when x is greater than 3. Now if x is greater than 3, we can write x sin x plus cos x it will be less than x plus 1 because maximum value of sin and cos can be 1 and it cannot be 1 simultaneously and this x plus 1 will be less than or equal to 2x minus 2 because if you want to solve this you will get this condition that x is greater than 3. So from here we can say x sin x plus cos x it will be strictly less than 2x minus 2. So again left hand side and right side they cannot be equal. So for x greater than 2 also we will have no solution. 
Now we can verify this also in Desmos. Now this red graph, it represents x sin x plus cos x and this blue line, it represents 2x minus 2 and they intersect at one point but that point is less than 2. We need to find a solution when x is greater than 2. So we are going to discard this. Now when x is greater than 2, so in between 2 and 3, there is no solution. These two graphs, they are not intersecting. And when x is greater than 3, we have proved that this black line x plus 1, it is greater than x sin x plus cos x. And this blue line 2x minus 2, it is greater than x plus 1. So clearly, this blue line will always be above this red graph. So when x is greater than 2, there will not be any solution to this equation. So the only solution we have is in the case when x lies between 0 to 2. So essentially, number of solution of this equation x sin x plus cos x equals fx is 2 and that is the answer to this question.